A warm welcome to the sixth and last film in our Single Skin Facade series, in which we explain how windows are fitted in single skin exterior walls. Let's take a quick look back at the purpose of windows. They bring light into the interior of a building, allow the exchange of fresh air from outside and stale air inside, and make it possible to see that both get into and out of the building. As you already know, openings for windows and other purposes in masonry walls are made by leaving out bricks and covering the top of the resulting opening with a special purpose component upon which the bricks then continue to be laid in the usual bond. Now is also a good time to take another look at windows and to remind ourselves of the vocabulary used to describe them. The bottom of the opening is known as the breast or breastwork, the top as the lintel. The reveals on either side may be rebated to take the window. The capping on the breastwork to the back and front of the window are called the interior and exterior window sills. An exterior window sill should slope outwards, that is to say away from the window, so that rainwater can flow away easily. Dust and dirt that collect on the window sill when the weather is dry is then washed away by the rain. To prevent this dirty water from running down the facade and staining the wall, the window sill should project beyond the front edge of the wall. Although it can sometimes look good if there is no projection, as in our School of Hotel Management in Berlin, this was only possible because the facade was made of dark bricks. The junction between the window sill and the window and the reveals is a structural weak point. It's therefore vital to prevent water from hitting the window sill and being driven against the lateral components by the wind. If the window sills are made of sheet metal, they have upstands to prevent water from penetrating the joints. Where such upstands are difficult to fit, as with the concrete window sills shown on the left here, then special sealing components are integrated in the joint. Fitting windows in exterior walls is a complex design task. It can be done in one of two ways, as I will now explain. Here, you can see how breastwork, reveals and lintel can be used to form a design element in the wall. Horizontal projections in a facade are called cornices. As well as being used at the eaves of a building, they are often added at window breasts and lintels to integrate the windows into the facade. Contrasting decorative finishes around window openings are known as trims. Breastwork reveals and lintel can also be part of the window rather than the facade design. The material used for the window sill can also be used around the rest of the window to create a casing or frame. Windows and their surrounds are often made in the same colour to give emphasis to the window as a whole. Summary Windows bring light into the interior of a building, allow the exchange of air and make it possible to see both in and out. Windows are fitted in masonry walls by leaving out bricks and covering the top of the resulting openings with a lintel. Exterior window sills should slope outwards and project beyond the front edge of the wall to prevent rainwater from running down the facade. The junction between the window sill and the window and the reveals is a structural weak point and requires the fitting of upstands or ceiling components. Our next series of films for the coming semester will continue with the topic of double skin facades. We hope to see you then.